hey guys how are you all so today we are going to discuss about alkene dialorates when it comes to alkenes and alkene what are the things we need to learn okay the first thing first the name of the alkene and alkenes uh, iupc name and the common name that thing we are going to discuss then second thing describe the relation okay describe the relation between the preparation of alkene and alkene and the various reaction right next to there is a correlation between alkene and alkenes and and their types of reaction then fourth one the use of stereochemistry to understand the reaction mechanism the next one application of the organometallic compound then highlight the environmental effect right here we go what is the definition for the alkene and alkenes what is the definition for the alkene and alkenes c your hydrocarbon two types one is aliphatic another one is aromatic right your hydrocarbon there is a two type one is aliphatic another one is aromatic we know already the definition for aliphatic and aromatic if you don't know go and watch the hydrocarbon 11th lesson video clear c this is your hydrocarbon in this hydrocarbon just replace replace one hydrogen by halogen this we call it as a alkene this is alkenes we know that all the places there is a presence of one carbon one hydrogen so in this position we are just replacing the one hydrogen by halogen this we call it as a alkenes okay right next sir why we need to study about this lesson what is the uses of this components right so first thing this is useful in the various purpose okay first one is your everyday life your everyday life and industry and there is a clinical purpose okay so here there is a chlorophenicol the chlorophenicol is the chlorine containing compound which is used for the typhoid fever next one is there is a thyroxine this is iodine contained compound iodine containing compound which is which is a uh, kind of hormone this deficiency which going to cause the goiter okay then another synthetic halogen compound that is chloroquine which is used for the treatment of malaria then allotin which is used for the anesthetic right during the surgery certain fully fluorinated compound considered as a potential blood substituent this are the application so in this lesson again small in in i will give you so in this lesson we are starting the preparation physical property chemical property then uses of organometallic compounds okay organolagen compounds right here we go the classification of the alkene and alkenes classification of alkene and alkenes look here the classification which is based on classification which is based on the number of halogen if it your alkene and alkenes which has only one halogen then we call it as a monoalkene then monoalkenes in case of two halogen then we call it as a dialkene and a tri dialoarenes in case of three halogen trialoalkene and trialoarenes then when it comes to the another classification the compound contains sp3 cx bond look here your x bonded with carbon this carbon should be sp3 based okay so first we discuss what is primary what is secondary what is tertiary look here your halogen bonded with one carbon that carbon connected with another carbon again halogen bonded with one carbon that carbon is connected to two other carbon your halogen bonded with one carbon your halogen bonded with one carbon that carbon connected with other three carbon okay so if it connected with only one other carbon that is primary if it two other carbon secondary if it three other carbon that is tertiary clear right so when it comes to the next classification that is allylic halide allylic halide what is allylic halide your halogen 
bonded with sp3 hybridized carbon that is adjacent to carbon carbon double bond adjacent to carbon carbon double bond or next to carbon carbon double bond then we call it as a allylic halide okay the next next classification is benzylic halide what is benzylic halide your halogen bonded with again sp3 hybridized carbon this is attached with your benzene ring or aromatic ring this we call it as a benzylic halide benzylic halide right next we go for the another classification uh, the classification the halogen is directly bonded with sp2 hybridized carbon of sp2 hybridized carbon atom of your halogen directly bonded with sp2 hybridized carbon atom of carbon carbon double bond carbon carbon double bond look here your halogen bonded with sp2 hybridized carbon atom of carbon carbon double bond okay this we call it as a vinylic halide next we go for the aryllic halide your halogen directly bonded with sp2 hybridized carbon atom of aromatic ring this we call it as a your aryllic halide clear now so this is aryllic halide this is aryllic halide this is two vinylic halide clear now next we go for the norman culture when it comes to norman culture there is a two way we can do it one is common name the common name derived from scientist name then there is a city name there is a country name okay so this run we consider as a common name but when it comes to iupac name iupac prescribed name okay in case of your alkyl halide your common name when you do the common name first we do the alkyl name first first we do the alkyl name then we go for the your halide name but in case of iupac name in case of iupac name first we do name the halogen then only we go for the alkyl group here bromine chlorine then chlorine right first we do name the halogen then we we'll, then only we go for the your alkyl halide naming right okay so then in case of aromatic aromatic compound in aromatic compound there might be one halogen there might be two halogen there might be three halogen if it in case of here we have some important point okay so your halogen only one halogen bonded with your benzene ring your common name as well as your iupac name going to be same iupac name going to be same but in case of here there is a uh, first position br is there second position the third okay so first and third position there is a bromine is there so 1 comma 3 dibromobenzene in case of here 1 2 3 4 5 okay so first position third position and fifth position is there so 1 comma 3 comma 5 tribromobenzene clear na clear right so another two names there so i will do this okay look here so we here we have a branch of alkyl group as well as uh, your halogen is there okay in this case uh, first we should give the priority when, when we give the name we should give priority to the your halogen 1 2 3 okay first position chlorine is there so one chloro so in second second position there is a two methyl group is there so 2 comma 2 dimethyl propane in case of this one 1 2 3 okay second position with bromine is there so two bromo propane okay then another one classification is there okay so that is uh, if it two halogen is there whether this is bonded with two halogen bonded with same carbon or it is adjacent carbon okay then we call it as alkylidine alkylene we can say in the common purpose but in case of iupac uh, this is 1 comma 1 dichloroethane 1 comma 1 dichloroethane okay but this one 1 comma 2 dichloro it okay so this we can say if it two halogen bonded in same carbon same dihalide if it adjacent carbon that is vicinal dihalide clear now next when it comes to the iupac name this some of the compounds which is given in your table okay so uh, we we can do this 1 2 3 4 okay so second position chlorine is there so two chloro butane when it comes to this one and this one i will explain it okay look here c your carbon connected with 3 ch3 group okay 3 ch3 group then ch2 then br so we know that we should give priority to the halogen so 1 2 3 so first position bromine is there so one bromo second position two methyl group is there two comma two dimethyl propane okay when it comes to the third one this is 
carbon connected with three other methyl okay then uh, bromine is connected with this carbon so one two three so second position methyl is there second position bromine is there so two bromo two methyl propane clear now when it comes to other uh, another one which is you might feel a um, bit challenge that one is your uh, phenyl group is there in the phenyl there is a methyl already is there okay so here only we have a uh, function so this we consider as a parent so this is methane methane connected with chlorine and phenyl so this chloro phenyl methane so chloro phenyl methane clear now chloro phenyl methane right okay so when it comes to uh, the first question they are asking the they given the molecular formula okay they given the molecular formula but uh, we should write the structural formula okay so they given the pentane okay so pen, when it comes to pentane we know that uh, ch3 ch2 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 ch3 clear na? so in this uh, just removing the one hydrogen okay just remove the one hydrogen okay just remove the one hydrogen putting ch2 beyond this is one isomer then other isomer i can write it in the bond line formula okay so second position br is there then one more molecule the third position br is there so three isomer is over okay then fourth isomer fourth isomer <coughs> the carbon connected with four other methyl group at the time one methyl group alone connected with br this is fourth isomer in case of fifth isomer sixth seventh eighth i will write it okay so first one ch3 ch ch3 ch2 ch2 CS3 okay so this uh, carbon connected with bromine this carbon connected with bromine this one isomer right so next uh, other three uh, isomers I can write it in the bond line formula so four two three four one two three okay so look here your bromine connected with this second carbon you are connected with here either of this br okay so other than this they are also asking the finding the whether it's a bromine connected carbon is primary secondary tertiary look here your bromine connected carbon this one this connected with only one carbon so primary but in case of this one which is connected with two other carbon so this is secondary but in case of this one uh, this carbon connected with one two three so this is tertiary in case of this one this connected with only one carbon so this is primary this is how we have to find out the primary secondary tertiary okay the last one the final question we can discuss um, which is given here okay see look here that's the first question that is there for you So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. So in this way only we can get, we can give the uh, least possible number to the double bond. So while we giving this name, we should know that your double bond is most preferred one, then your halogen, then only your methyl group, your uh, alkyl group, then only your alkyl group. This is the way we have to prioritize when we give the naming so this is going to be uh, four bromo uh, pent to e okay in case of this one so here first carbon one two three four okay so third position there is a bromine is there second position there is a methyl is there so this is the name okay two bromo two methyl butone in case of third one so one two three four five okay so third position on methyl group is there fourth position on bromine is there so we can give the four bromo three methyl pent to in four bromo three methyl but to in so next component which is given here look here so one two three 
then here is the fourth okay so fourth position bromine is there third position methyl is there so we can say four bromo side so in this way uh, your bromine get the four but in this way your uh, double bond get the two but same way we can do uh, do give the least possible number to your uh, your bromine okay look, look here this is one this is two this is three this is four okay so first position bromine second position methyl then second position in is there okay so one bromo two methyl but to in okay next in case of this one one two three four okay so your fourth position what is there second position what is there so in another way we give the number okay one two three four okay so first position bromine is there so but second position in is there in case of this one 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 two three but in another way the your double bond carbon going to get you one one two three okay third position bromine is there second position methyl is there so three bromo two methyl bromine clear then some of the name of given okay we should write the uh, formula okay or such okay i will write it uh, two rest of the things you can do it so i will write this one under this one okay so fifth one i will write it so your parent will be benzene so first i will write the benzene first i will write the benzene after that i will give the number three four five so first position bromine should be there second position your methyl should be there then your fourth position secondary butyl ch ch2 ch3 ch3 okay this is the structure of the fifth component but in case of third component i will give the structure so look here f10 f10 means how many carbon seven carbon so two three four five six seven okay first i do give the number three four five six seven okay so i give a number after that uh, third position your iodine is there then your fourth position tertiary butyl so carbon connected with three other carbon okay this is tertiary butyl clear now so thank you all i will end here okay so from the next topic we will start the next video okay thank you all bye take care